Hi there, Lauren here from your Spirit of Spokane choreography team. I'd like today to talk to you about some choreography basics. First of all, in Sweet Adeline's Barbershop, we are adjudicated and judged on two songs. And one of those songs is called an uptune or a faster paced song, and that usually has choreography, which is unlike any singing genre that I have ever seen. And we are judged on a lot of things, but mostly it's just like clarity and confidence of the moves. And so there's a few terms that I think are helpful for everybody, even if you're a, a, an old fart like me now being in uh, Spirit of Spokane. The first terminology I want you to think about is called down the tiles. Down the tiles is, is that you're not looking at the director, but rather you're looking straight out, imagining that the tiles of the floor there's a line right here going right through your chest. Depending on where you are on the risers, you know, if you're right in the middle, you don't hardly ever turn. But on your outside, if you're looking in toward the director, then when we do down the tiles, it will look like this. It'll be a pretty big, pretty big move for that. So usually when the curtain opens, no matter if we're doing our optune or our ballad, we start off accepting applause and we are down the tile. What does this look like? We are radiating. Smiles galore, we're excited, and even if you're nervous, you're channeling your nerves, and you're moving. Again, different from a lot of other uh, singing groups, choirs, choruses. And you're moving, and you're kind of anticipating, I call it kind of purposefully wiggling, percolating energy. Um, depending on the coach, some coaches like us to accept applaud, applause so like um, looking at one or two or three different points and just kind of accepting nodding thank you thinking in your head thank you that's what we call accepting applauses then you will hear the pitch blown that's when you know your whole body's in tune that we're about to start the director you will see from the corner of your eye will direct right back and he will make a motion back to the center and that's when you move together as a chorus towards the director. So those are like the really big things. Down the tiles, accepting applause, coming back together to look at the director. Okay, something to keep in mind again with choreography. A move doesn't need to be big. It just needs to be done with purpose and it needs to look like it's not an accident. I also like to think any of the moves in between is it needs to come from the center. So either your thighs, your abs, your big muscles, your gut. So again, this has to do with confidence. And when you do a move, it needs to come from kind of this center area. So I want you to watch. Excuse my sweatpants. So there's a difference between this and this. So you're kind of coming in from the gut, the center, and the thighs. We've had coaches that say eyes and thighs, eyes and thighs, moving constantly, looking, smiling, and using your thighs. Some other coaches I found really resonated with me, pretend like you're moving through honey, that it's purposeful. Excuse me, my toddler had to use the restroom. Anyway, as we're wrapping up our uptune and even our ballad, we usually end a song down the tiles. There might be a move, and then you will be released by the director, accept applause, and then either the curtain will lower or you will be focused back onto the director with the pitch of the next song. So let's recap. Down the tiles means straight out to the audience, and that will look different depending on where you are on the risers. The second thing is how we accept applause. The third thing is how we move in and out with the director. And your director always needs to be in the corner of your eye. Everything needs to be purposeful and doesn't and it shouldn't look like an accident. Doesn't need to be big, shouldn't be an accident. Your movements need to come from your thighs, your tushy, your gut. Okay, some coaches have said thighs and eyes or move through honey, whatever works for you. And usually we end down the tiles. And lastly, most moves start with your right hand or your right foot. Something to keep in mind. All right, I think that's it. Five minute video. 
hope this was helpful. Uh, good luck and happy singing and even happier dancing. Adios.